Hello, I'm Sherwin Gooch. Welcome to High Tech Heroes. Our guest this week is a nephew of the famous philosopher Ludwig, Ludwig Wittgenstein. In collaboration with Norbert Wiener, John von Neumann, Margaret Mead, and others, our guest helped to found the science of cybernetics. He was born in Austria and received a degree in physics engineering from the Institute of Technology in Vienna, followed by a PhD in physics from the University of Breslau. He has held many engineering and research positions, served in many professional organizations, and is a prolific author. Among the positions he has held are staff physicist, director of the microwave and plasma research lab, professor of engineering, professor of biophysics, director of the electron tube research lab, director of the biological computer lab, chairman of the board of cybernetics research institute, and director of systems research limited. To round out his reputation as a renaissance man, he has played professionally in a jazz combo, served as editor-in-chief for science and art at the radio network of the information services branch of the US Army, and has been named a Guggenheim Fellow. And so I'm happy to welcome one of the founders of the science of cybernetics, Professor Heinz von Forrester, to our program. Hello, Heinz, and welcome to High Tech Heroes. Sherwin, it's wonderful to see you after so many years. You see, the, the question which I have, with, which we have, I thought, cleared in your first statement is, is information a commodity? Is information to be handed up in this way and that way? And then I think we came to the conclusion that what, where is your memory or where is my memory? You see, I am my memory. You see, I can't store it. It's the whole thing. namely essentially a circularity which is going on. You're talking to you, you're talking to me, talking to you. This circularity is one of the essential conceptual backbones of the notion of cybernetics. So Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the original idea is what is going on in a dialogue. So say, I say something, it's my question, and you give me an answer. So it's very obvious. It's very simple. Very the straightforward. Problem. What's the problem? Well. Now, the problem is the following thing. If, if you ask me a question, I have to interpret that question. And I say, what did Sherwin really want to know when he asked me that? So I address myself to that interpretation of your question, and I come back with my answer. Now you have to figure out what is Heinz now saying. Right. So the dialogue is interpreting your question and you interpreting the answers, which is my interpretation of your question. You see, the, the question which I have, with, which we have, I thought, cleared in your first statement is, is information a commodity? Is information to be handed up in this way and that way? And then I think we came to the conclusion that what, where is your memory or where is my memory? You see, I am my memory. You see, I can't store it. It's the whole thing. You see, the, the question which I have, with, which we have, I thought, cleared in your first statement is, is information a commodity? Is information to be handed up in this way and that way? And then I think we came to the conclusion that what, where is your memory or where is my memory? I am my memory. You see, I can't store it. It's the whole thing. Now, the usual notion of information is that on this sheet of paper you have information, yeah? right? And this on my watch there is information. You see, and you hinted, and I like that. But there is no information. There are just hands on a clock and there are black spots on a piece of paper. Only when you, Sherbin Gooch, are looking at the whole thing, you say, here it says, what is cybernetic? Suddenly, when you look at that sheet of paper, you change. 
generate the information by interacting with your own sense of experience. So information is generated in the one who looks at things and is not passing around. interactive computation of reality. What we are doing here is doing in our interactions, our linguistic, semantic interaction, generate a reality which we hope your viewers will enjoy. <laughs> I think what I like very much in your question is your notion that information is, is nothing. You said it's it is nothing. nothing. It is nothing. It is only form. Blah, blah, blah. And form is only in the eye of the uh, perceiver. That's right. Now, the usual notion of information is that on this sheet of paper you have information. Yeah? Right. And this on my watch you have information. Right. You see, and you hinted, and I like that. But that is no information. They are just hands on a clock and they are black spots on a piece of paper. Only when you, Sherman Gooch, are looking at the whole thing, you say, here it says, what is cybernetics? Suddenly, when you look at that sheet of paper, you generate the information by interacting with your own sense of experience. So information is generated in the one who looks at things. And it's not passing around. Well, I see we're out of time, Heinz, and I really appreciate your, your taking the trouble to come here and, and be on the program, and it's been very enjoyable. Sherman, it was a pleasure seeing you again after 15 years. It's great to see you again, Heinz. And good luck to you. Thank you.